The pressure's really on in the Premier League Mixed Game Championship. This is the last chance for Group A to secure points to make the top three of the league and get that final table seat. Let's see what happened last time. Last time, the pressure of the points hit home for Group A. Today's everything for me. Feel the power. Luke Schwartz, ladies and gentlemen. So fishy. I got club first or second, basically, to get through. When I'm about to do something, I think, is this stupid? And if the answer is yes, I'm not going to do it. Idiots. I don't know, you guys got no hat. It was a time to go. I have to perform, I have to get some casualties. You're ganging up on me. They're ganging up on Defeat is not an option. Coming up, it's a full-scale war of words for Pescatori and Dempsey. You're still bitching against me? I mean, are you stopping? You get destroyed every time. How can you take it personally? Just you never want anything. It's starting, I can feel it. Just be quiet and say, every once in a while, just say, Tony G is my hero, then you're gonna look good. Tony G is my hero. I'm a poker fan. Yeah, we know you're a poker fan. You're not a poker player. Tell you know you have one team that you're better than me? I tell the truth. You're taller. I think you're a donk. It's on like Donkey Kong. Here are the league standings in Group A. As they stand now, Max Pescatori just playing for final table chips. Every point converted to 20K chips at that final table. Dempsey feeling good, and it's wide open for Tony G, Janetti, Luke Schwartz, and Jennifer Tilly. Nothing but a strong finish will do to get them to the final table. So Max Pescatori is the only player guaranteed a final table seat and any one of the other five players can still make it through. With Jennifer Tilly and Matt Gianetti using their double up cards, this one will go right to the wire. Back to your commentators Andrew Feldman and Jesse May. Each player has their own plan here for how they're going to get through to that final table. Some work better than others. For Max Pescatori, he can just swing wildly and it's work to a T. Over 600K. Dempsey needs to survive, while Tony G, Janetti, and Luke Schwartz mostly have to look out for each other. For Jennifer Tilly, she has to go up or he she'll go out. Mil, he wouldn't be grinding 1020 in the Bellagio, would he? <laughs> Spirits <laughs> still quite high at this yeah, table. Lots of banter. So Gianetti with the ace eight in the cutoff, yeah, definitely going to come in for a raise. Jennifer, lips on the down razor. that queen eight, which means he goes into the mark. And I think Tony G has to play a lot of hands here. <laughs> he could um, he, we saw with the nine ten. Yep. You know, Tony Gianetti. When Gianetti's in, he's in. Yep. And and uh, Giannetti obviously knows that, Andrew. So uh, he loves these spots. I mean, you know, for him to be told that Tony G is going to call with every hand out of the small blind when he raises on the cutoff, he's just thinking, can we lock the doors? He's, you know. He does, but equally, he knows that, like this, in um, this particular spot, what does he do with ace high? I mean, Tony G's out flopped, and does he go for the continuation? But. I would like to see him bet this board with their side, but we've seen him before in the past, his tendency to check behind these kind of flops, and it just now gives the door for Tony G to bet, although he, I don't know if Tony G will bet on that turn. And it's now probably going to go check, check again. And does Tony G fade it? He does. He might value bet bottom pair. It's very thin, though. Yeah. Tony kind of needs to bet this here. He could. I, I feel like for his for his pride, you know, even though he won that six, seven, eight, nine, ten hand, Andrew, it, he did feel kind of owned because course, he didn't yeah. get much money. Yeah. He needs to get this this spite bottom pair bet back. Which I mean, like, as we can see, uh, Giannetti is very confused. He's like, would you value bet here with threes, five, sevens? Oh yeah. Would you value bet with a four, a two? You probably bet the turn with a, a six, a nine, a jack. Like your hand kind of looks like queen 10, king 10, 10, 8, 10, 7, 7, 5. Like there's a lot of hands ace high beats here. Um, and he probably just, yeah, I mean, I think he might call here with ace high. The greatest I, thing about this call is going to be Tony G's comment after after he shows the hand and rakes yeah. in the pot. It looks like he's, Let's hear the needle. He's talking himself into Stick calling. the needle in. Yeah, this will be a, f oh, well done, Tony G. Fantastic bet. That's a fantastic bet by Tony G. That just that shows the marks of a world-class player who can value bet fifth pair there and win.
kicker no, was good. Fantastic. Come on, Jay, stick in the needle. <laughs> kicker was good. And, yes. And look at that. Look at this, the, the swing difference that has. That Brilliant. puts Tony G on 315,000 and, and Giannetti on 295. That's yeah. the mark of a world-class player. Phenomenal. Kicker was good. <laughs> Phenomenal. And, and you can see Matt feels a little bit owned there to uh, just call him with a side. For three or four days, you kids are just messing around, scrambling around, trying to get one or two points all the time. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I dumped it off. <laughs> yeah. I dumped it off to you. You dumped it off. I like the fact James Dempsey's a bit mouthy. It's, it's good. He's he's trying to draw Tony G out, so and uh, have have it's fun. Dumped. First place, and it's it's, it's just right. purely for for sport, isn't it, Andrew? He just he, he sort of enjoys the battle, you yeah. know. Let's see what Tony G's got. It's that kind of thing. That's exactly it. People pass. enjoy taking Tony G on, just trying to get a reaction out of him. He usually it's ends up on top. Ah, this should be interesting. So Giannetti opens with premium hand. Tony obviously calls in position with the 8-9 of the same suit. Pescatori comes along with the Queen-9 suited and Luke folds. So we could have some interesting flops here if Diamonds comes or some middling cards. Um, so let's see how this flop develops. Oh, wow, this is huge for Pescatori. Massive flop here. And Giannetti does pretty well to check here, to be honest. Um, because he doesn't sure. doesn't really want to get check raised, which is exactly what Pescatori would do. If a ten comes, uh, we okay six. So now um, Giannetti takes an overwhelming lead, but Pescatori correctly bets his monster draw. Amazing, really, to check on the flop by Giannetti. Uh, whether he did it to check raise Tony G or because he was a little worried about Pescatori, but they could have gotten all the money in on the flop. Much different now. And, I mean, Giannetti has to really consider, is he willing to, to battle Pescatori for stacks right now? Yeah, this is This bad. is the he biggest This is the biggest moment in, in his tournament. He shouldn't be raising with Ace-King here. Not, no, not against uh, Pescatori. Oh. Oh. Cool. All He's gone all in. I He's gone like all in. And 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 Pescatori oh, now may call, may call. Here. And it's a massive re-raise. Yeah, he might call with his on uh, the flop. Outs. He definitely would have called. He can't call on the turn. Yeah, this is a really bad bet. Giannetti's so. played him like a like a drum. He has, but I don't. He, yeah, he does, but this is the only type of hand he played which, him like a which, drum. which Pescatori may call here. He just folds every other, every other type you of hand. You think 75% favorite? No, nah, wait, yeah, he's a huge favorite. He's a huge, huge favorite. But and and Pescatori's wishing he had check raised now or something uh, like that. Or just bet smaller. I don't know why you full pot here because if Giannetti does do this, what do you do with nice. your... He folded nice. and now he... And basically, Pescatori has now just given chips to Giannetti. Yeah. Look at Schwartz. Look at G. They're like, give the Italian an umbrella. I, 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 could, I could call and get a seven from heaven. That was bad by Pescatori. You just should not be by, be betting the full pot there. You have to bet half, um, you know, half pot. It's always nice when they bet pot, though, isn't it? Because I'm going to bet, like, 30K. Just, nah, I have seven. You're still bitching against me. I mean, are you stopping? No, but you, you can destroy it's nothing, but you take it. Time. You take it personally. I'm you not criticizing you as a person. You're another you're, guy. You're, you're criticizing my play. play. It's not, it's just, you never won anything. It's not, it's not a personal attack. You take it so personally. But why? Every time you're a lovely you made guy. a stupid mistake, I didn't like pointing it out to everybody. Yes, I did make a mistake to bet 70,000. You, you, you're right. So are you happy, John? I don't get it. doesn't bother me, but I feel for my friend Luke. He's, he's under it. He's so trying what? to do well, and you're dumping so chips. It has nothing yeah. to do with it. If you don't deal with it, you don't deal with it. If you swap the percentage, is that what it is? You're just passing him chips. Oh, now you're saying that I'm actually cheating? <laughs> I'm just asking if you swap the percentage. My goodness. And stop kissing ass of Tony G. That's the only reason that you think so you're going to get invited again. It's on you, you by keep the way. Saying that he's be, you're a big fan. You're a big fan of Tony the G. I am number one fan. Tony so G. I'm going to be invited again. Thank you. I'm he's big TV fan of poker. Tony G. Yeah. He's, TV, he's, he's the man of TV poker. You're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you're ridiculous. I am his number one fan. I, can't lie. I told you. I tell you the know truth. you have one thing that you're better than me? I tell the truth. You're taller. There you go. That's the only thing. You're actually taller than me. So here you go. He doesn't have a beard. 
<laughs> well, now, short, this is just <laughs> beginning between Pescatori and Dempsey, because they're going to be meeting at the final table almost for sure. Yeah. He's the dumpster. He's the dumpster. We both I mean, the game. We both I the never game. Game. This so. game. I, I mean, you, you've got a hand in Dempsey for... When destroyed all the time... Had the, the hand for Dempsey for, for no one reason. thing. Pesky His timing person. is perfect. You're a lovely guy. He knows exactly <laughs> what happened. I absolutely think it's a game, that you're man. not a lovely guy. It's a game. What did he say? I think you're a I donk. Said, I just said, like... No, no, me, you're a so donk. Why don't you two play heads up? And, why don't you two go to the Vic today and play heads up? But he's going to be broke if we do that. That's what Why would he do that? I'm broke now. Yeah, you will go broke if you keep playing <laughs> poker, especially if you attack good players. He's quite entertaining to watch. Oh, he's playing bad. Blah, 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 blah. Just be quiet. It's the best way you're gonna be look good on TV. If you're quiet and you say, "Tony G is my hero," <laughs> that's Tony the best G way. Is my hero. <laughs> yeah, just be quiet and say every once in a while, just say, "Tony G is my hero." Then you're gonna look good. Then you're gonna look good. You might actually look like a player. Instead, you come out with <laughs> things like, like a "I'm a poker fan." Yeah, we know you're a poker fan. You're not a poker player. <laughs> you just won because it's random and it's poker. That's great for that. You can actually want something by being mediocre. <laughs> I, I think and that's what you are. <laughs> so now, if I make another mistake, which it was, by the way, just be quiet next time so I won't destroy you by walk, just words. I think this is one case Point. where the rule about not and talking if you're not in the hand doesn't that's really apply. I think everybody has agreed Let's that be friends <laughs> Pescatori okay. has the right to have the friends? floor. He two should just play a heads up. Heads up for rules tonight. He's not going to play me. What is he going to play me for? I think he'll play you. Yeah, his ego might play me, and then he's going to have no money left. Check. We don't want that to happen. And we don't want that to happen, right? The other players don't want it. He's you want to share the now, now. It was a small bet and call by Dempsey Everyone's on the flop. And he turns the gem card, and I think this goes check, check. It might go bet. Yeah, I mean, De Dempsey must That's feel like thing. Schwartz has got air here sometimes as well. Well, he's betting as a merge, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on an eight, yeah, so, the so he's, so he's like, <laughs> it puts a hell of a lot of pressure on, on Luke. <laughs> Luke says I only live so often, so all the banter would be on the TV. Same, same, yeah. I have to be on TV. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Upsetting me. Luke, um, Luke decided to fold the eight, and um, Dempsey down, make, made a strong bet. I think you should play heads up for 50k tonight, the both of you. I like all right, it. I'll play on, man. Because Holden clearly is random. He won the first one. You saw that, how he did it. He won three coin flips against me, and then he won like three times a 30% a hand against uh, Matt. There is nothing wrong to be like one of the worst players at this table. I mean, everybody's pretty good, so actually quite good. I just wanted to get out of here. <laughs> I was like, this is like my family. It's like dinner at my family's house. Why, there is one smarter than the others? <laughs> I don't say anything, pick a note. I've never said anything bad about you as a person. Mm -hmm. I'm not very good at football. Someone said football, I don't mind. You're terrible at poker. Someone said terrible. Don't take it personally. It's not personal <laughs> insult. I'm not attacking your person. <laughs> it's great. It's just good stuff all around. As uh, long as there are no fists raised, I'm sure it's everything will be fine. I, I, I'm, I'm, we're down here. I mean, fists are fine as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, okay, it looks like uh, Jennifer will be shoving um, the race with five big lines. Yeah, and, I really and, would hate it if she folds here right now. Yeah, and uh, J um, James calls with the king seven. This I don't mind by James. He has uh, a king. The senti bit is and as we yeah, see, the percent is six. Is, he's only a sixty-four again. dog. Jennifer all in again. She's a double up. Dempsey, of course, recognizes the the implied odds in knocking Jennifer out. He can start playing a little freer because he'll be in for wow. sure. And what a that flop! Ace. But uh, okay. but um, Dempsey, obviously, with a nut flush draw, so a heart will send her packing. Um, so she's got quite a few cards to dodge right now. Okay, she's dodged it. She just needs to dodge one more heart and she will double up and be right back in it. And she has. So there we go. Jennifer Tilly with another lifeline and she's up to 111,000, 11 big blinds. 
<laughs> you know, and um, like I say, stranger things have happened in poker. And oh. with the blinds this big, one more double up, and she's almost back to average. So I certainly wouldn't write Jennifer out just yet. We'll be back after the break for more from the final league match of Group A for the Mixed Game Championship in London. Welcome back. Group A is in action for their final league match with the players being awarded points for where they finish. It's eight points for the win, six for the runner-up, and then three, two, one, and zero for the first player knocked out. After this match, it'll be the top three in each group that goes through to the final table. And now, back to the action. We've already uh, got a little bit of drama, even if we lose Tony G, Jennifer Tilly, and Luke Schwartz, who's a lot of the, the character at the final table. I think uh, this Dempsey Pescatori uh, feud is, is is definitely could be. This could be the new Helmuth versus G. <laughs> it could be. It could be the Italian pirate versus yeah. uh, versus the bold flushy. Well, I'm going to be right in the middle of things um, for the final later on, so, so I'm really not. <laughs> I really don't want to be getting in in the. You don't want to take sides. <laughs> no, <laughs> certainly not. Uh, like I said, as long as uh, fists aren't raised, then and it's all in good good faith, then things will be okay. Uh, so Tony G with the ace jack. Say two raise. Raises. Um, Twenty thousand. About two hundred. Oh wow, Luke in the big blind with deuces. Well, now here. three bet. He could. Oh, he could fold. Um, I think I played with Luke quite a lot. I think he's going to fold here. It's just not. I mean, the risk reward. He's got a risk. Basically, two hundred and twenty thousand to pick up. Forty-two thousand. It's just not. Risk, the risk reward isn't great. Um, he's just going to wait for a better spot. But I don't know. You don't know here. It depends how Luke feels. Yeah, well, we talk about a better spot. I mean, both these guys, Schwartz and G, know they have to gamble. Both of them know that at some point they're going to have to knock the other out. And if they're, if they're offered a coin flip against each other, um, it, you know, I mean, I, I think they're going to take it on. They're taking it on. And they're all in, but Luke doesn't realize he's actually in front. Luke went with it, and he's in front. I'm, I'm not sure if Luke can pass now. He has to call. Cool. He is, yeah. and it is a flip, and basically be their stacks that. will merge to one. One of them will that. be nominated to take on Matt Giannetti. Yep. The I'm other will hit the road. <coughs> Schwartz has got a few, might have a chip or two back, but basically all the chips are in the center. This is for who goes. Wow. Luke. It's Luke. Luke. Luke's ahead right now. Luke usually does well at these in TV tournaments. He doesn't usually lose flips too often. Tony G's pretty much out the door. Good luck. Nah. Good luck. Nah. Nah. Have I got more chips than you or not? Um, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. It's over. Hope so. He's still got six hours. Don't so don't know why he's feeling so back. negative. Huge chips this here. It's big for Schwartz. Big for G. <laughs> big for G and Eddie. all scream up and someone gets dead. Schwartz is saying, even if it doesn't come an ace or jack, he's going to scream it just to bring Tony back. He thinks that'll be more. That'll be more fun. That'll be more fun than even uh, than even knocking out Tony. Oh! I just knew when Tony walked was uh was walking. Bring back G. And this is it, it. it for yeah, Schwartz. Like for three days before yeah. Unless Unlucky he hits a Luke. deuce, he's out. He's out of this Premier League. Unlucky to Luke. He played as well as he could. He didn't get any spots and he didn't win the flip. Don't say anything. No one say anything. Bye. Unlucky Luke. Nothing he could do. I mean, he could have folded, but he went. He went like you say. He wanted to. He went to gamble. It's, it's not. Tony G has actually left the building. They're going to have to go find him. He's in a taxi. That's just that. <laughs> Luke wanted it so bad. Wow. I Sometimes don't... the cards just don't cooperate. 219. 219. I think they're still trying to um, find where Tony G's gone right now. I, I, I believe they are trying to locate I just hope Tony he hasn't, G. I hope he just has, he hasn't got his private jet back to wherever it is. Yeah, he does. 
Oh wow, he, he really has gone. Huh? I guess he'll just be blinded out until he, until they find him. And they will deal around Tony G right now. Luke, of course, is going to be all in, basically, in the small blind. Two big cards. Six pass. And well, one other thing that's about to happen, as soon as Luke gets knocked out, um, oh, and, and Jennifer Tilly's got a very short <laughs> yeah, stack as well. Jennifer's obviously going to play this ace. But it's it's probably going to put Dempsey cool. through. Um, as we said, the only thing that would knock Dempsey out is uh, if, if, he, if, he, if one person goes, is if uh, Jeanette and Tilly go first and second. <laughs> I needed a deuce last round as well. Oh, so Luke with the four deuce, all in against ace four. Looking for a deuce. I think you would have rather had the deuce last hand. Three, I believe five, James Dempsey folded a deuce, so there's only two of them left out there. Mm. Where's my help? Not Is looking great three? for him. There are some backdoor chops here. Backdoor straight, so, so he's, 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 as we out. see, it's five percent of the time this is going to be chopped. He's nah, just a deuce now. He's certainly been a lot of fun in this party poker only, Premier League poker mixed game championship. And two twos, he no. played all the games well, but for Schwartz tonight, he had too much to do. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be Tony oh, G. I another 2,000. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Chair. I might well, know he's going to call it pretty flop. <laughs> that, uh, well, play. now we, we know that Amarillo, uh, sorry, that Jack Strauss uh, won the World Series of Poker after getting knocked out and finding a chip under his cocktail napkin. That was in 1981. And I never heard that story. You don't hear that story? No. It's yours. Did you see there was another 2,000? Yeah, that, that goes out, sweet. Oh, it goes over? Yeah. <laughs> Luke out now, his place, and I believe <laughs> that's nearly I, I cemented I Dempsey's place yeah. at the final yeah. table. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Jennifer Tilly yeah. still yeah. short stacked, yeah. but it's looking like a G versus Giannetti yeah. showdown. Does Tony know that he What's has going on, really? chips? Am I the big No, I'm not. Unfortunately, we've lost Luke from the table, and that does mean that we won't be seeing you at the final. But this mixed game championship, just a precursor to the main event of the Premier League. We'll see you there, right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm definitely going to be there for the Premier League. I'm going to try and do better than I did last year, which was second. I think this was this was kind of a weird tournament. Um, didn't really have any good players, so pretty disappointing to um, just bust down and last or whatever. But I lost a lot of flips. Normally, I win the flips on the TV poker, but... Um, wasn't to be this time. Maybe next time then we'll see you again. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. See you. With Luke Schwartz out and zero points, all players now guaranteed at least one. That's going to put Dempsey up to 17. He's pretty much through unless some weird confluence of events. Tony G right now, if things finish this way, it would be G through and Gianetti and Tilly out. But there's still plenty to play for among those three. Just having a quick chat with Tony G, who thought that he busted out, but apparently you walked off before the final card was dealt. Yeah, well, things have been going so bad, I decided to go. I, I thought someone would have shouted out, but they all kept quiet. <laughs> no doubt they did. They all wanted you to get off the table. <laughs> and I did. I, I nearly left. I was going to leave and just walk away, but... Well, you've got to get back in there, though, so I shouldn't keep you up. So uh, uh, here we go. Off you go. Back to your table. You still have chips. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to the Party Poker Premier League Mixed Game Championship. We won't be seeing Luke Schwartz on our final table. He's out in sixth. Let's get back to the action. So we finally see the return of the G. I believe that Tony G has come back to assert his power. I thought I had like the end of that. Jennifer Tilly with a deuce is under gun with 16 big blinds. Very tricky. Very tricky. Um, and wow, Tony's, uh, Tony's gotten very aggressive here. This was um, this is about wow. as, uh, that was about as snap decision as he could make. This is a tough spot for... Uh, for Jennifer Tilly and uh, Dempsey with ace queen suited. Wow, and now he jams. 
And, and and see, I mean, well, this is going to be mad. G Tony G can't fold. I think he's put too many chips in wow, here. Wow, this is crazy. This and, is and, and, and for G, he's, gonna, he's about to lose about half his well, stack. Well, that's assuming he doesn't hit. I mean, you, you never know with Tony G, but it's, I'm a little bit shocked there that, that Dempsey gets his chips in so quick when, he, you know, Tony G shouldn't be three betting their light. Um, yeah, I am shocked, but to his credit, he's got his chips in a good shape, and it's um, a monster pot here. This feels like a pot for everything. For Dempsey, it's surety as far as going through to the final table. For Tony G, does he have the chips to take on Giannetti, or is he going to be second class? So just, uh, so they're rooting for their other opponents. Yeah, is. G, G needs a queen. A queen and a queen only. Otherwise, James Dempsey virtually guarantees a seat at the final table. Nope, the queen plays. It so certainly does. No Dempsey no doubles G in half. And for Gennetti, yeah, that was the greatest pot he never played. <laughs> Indeed it was. Cool. Well done. I don't care. Lines are up to 7 and 15,000. And as quick as Tony G got a hold of those chips, he gave half of them back. Dynamics always changing. Uh, Gianetti, a lot of reasons to play tight right now. And Tilly and Tony, the opposite. Here comes Flushy, really picking up the pace. So he opens the seven six of diamonds, and Jennifer in the small blind with an ace. Now she could definitely shove here. Um, I mean, this I wouldn't mind folding so much, uh, but. I th uh, so she folds, and Tony G with sixes. I'd imagine he's going to pot, pot this. He should be, be three betting this and just going with it. Well, yeah. You can see he doesn't love it, but you have to play your hand out here with what? How many 18 big blinds? I don't like calling. I just three bet, get it in. Yeah, I, it might have something to do with the fact that it's Debsey. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's at least the way maybe Tony G's thinking, I guess. You still don't. I uh, see now he's been out flopped and he may even play this. He may even just Pretty get it check. in. But I think this goes check check to be honest. I don't think Dempsey wants check. to bet and get it in with bottom pair and uh, the low end straight draw. And this again check. goes check check. And as we see, Jennifer, if she did shove with the ace, she would have doubled up. Um, not in love with this bet by Dempsey to be honest, because uh, but it actually gets. Tony to call with an inferior hand, um, which is very interesting. And oh wow, what a river card! <laughs> the one card in the deck which is going to give the, uh, Tony the win. That's incredible! Wow, incredible. this guy runs good. This guy runs seriously good. Oh wow! And now Dempsey may just cycle here with bottom two. Oh, that's just ridiculous cards. I mean, I'm thinking an eight that's is going to be a lucky card for um, Tony G, not a, <clears throat> a, a six. And it gives to, it gives Dempsey a hand which may get him to call. May. He's getting through over three to one. That's just an insane river card. I think he's getting quite a bit more than that. Tony only bet 35. Oh, 35. Sorry, I thought it was 55. So he's getting almost six, uh, what, four, five to one on his money. Um, but he can't be anything. That's a that's a reality. Dempsey cannot be anything. He can only beat Queen Jack. The flush got there. The straight got there. Um, a six got there. No, there's just no hand. Tony Tony G doesn't play Ace Jack like this. He, there's just no hand he can beat. Um, only Queen Jack. Or only Queen Jack. This is a bad call. That's as bad as he's throwing chips away. He's going to be sick when he sees this. Wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's going to be sick as a parrot. But I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he's trying to bring it out. And now what the big an smile. You don't win the pot with an eight, do you? Yeah. Hold on. He, see, no, he, he can't even figure out what, what he had there when he get said he's got one out. Get your money back. It's starting. I can feel it. Wow. It's one turned out. around. Feel the power. That's, Tell him, Tony. Tell him again. Let's put Tony in a very strong position now. 
The only thing Tony G likes more than winning is winning his own way, and that's the way Tony likes to win. And he likes win to... by putting pain on others. And he likes to extract value when he knows he's got in front. He got uh, Giannetti to call with a side before, and he got Dempsey to call with a hand, which he knew wasn't good. Oh, wow. Wow, the two uh, the two rivals. And this is... So, uh, he's, so James Dempsey has three bet with the King Jack. Uh, Pescatori with uh, the two ladies. He's obviously going nowhere. And and James and, is going to have to call this off, isn't uh, he? Yes, he probably is. Pot. 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 He's going to absolutely hate it. And, oh, does he fold? <laughs> oh, he, he calls. This is it for Dempsey. Wow, this is huge. Scary. If he gets right. knocked here, right. he's yeah. going to have to watch from the sidelines. Yeah, and, like, you know, he may have... I mean, obviously, it's going to Pescatori, which isn't the end of the world because obviously it has to finish Tilly's uh, slash Giannetti. But right, but wouldn't uh, Pescatori? Here we go. He's just a jack, so he needs a king or a jack. Otherwise, James Dempsey this is gonna be, will be collecting one point. He didn't say that this time. And there it is. Dempsey gets his double up. That's huge. That was huge for Flushy. And how happy is he? Yeah. How happy is he? He'll be pretty happy, especially against his uh, arch rival. So now that has guaranteed James Dempsey and Pescatori um, the two final places. I think uh, Dempsey is going to now try and knock Pescatori out in fifth. Max goes quite short stacked. With Max having short stack now, James has to be uh, Tony's friend as far as Tony's concerned. He needs to shepherd James along because he may need, need James to run interference uh, if Gennetti starts to go deep or yeah. Tilly. And, uh, yeah. The, the the dumpster, as he calls him, <laughs> will become Tony's best friend. <laughs> so Giannetti opens with an ace in the cutoff, perfectly fine. Jennifer, Jennifer falls. Tony's going to shadow him. He's and not going to let him breathe. Tony calls with a 7-5, and Pescatori's in with a 10-4. Wow, we've, we've got some fun now. This is this yeah. is like pickup sticks. This is... Um, could be interesting to see how this this board plays out. Ah, oh, wow! Huge flop again for Pescatori. The straight and flush draw. This is the second time he's flopped this hand against Giannetti. Well, how does he play it this time? I don't know whether he bet calls off. I don't know whether he checks back. This, he's got a really marginal spot here. This is also much different from the flop that Giannetti checked behind for yeah, black control I mean, earlier. That he, was that you felt a lot more confident. This you don't feel as great about because it's three Broadway cards. He may be, I mean, Giannetti might feel like he has to bet to get it in. No, and I don't know. Pe I don't know. Pescatori's I don't definitely going to check raise. Yeah, Pescatori has 000. to raise. He has to raise. Uh, 40, he has to raise here. I mean, some players might call, but you just raise 100% of the time. It's because with this, he's this, free rolling, this because of This everything. particular spot, you just get all your chips in and you put Giannetti to the test. It's a must raise. And he has done that, I believe. Yeah, and that's a nice size raise. I wouldn't have raised pot because it looks like a draw. This looks like it could be queen 10. Um, maybe maybe ace jack. And you can see Giannetti hates this. And, I've, and I think G he, he's not going to jam. Like, he much would have rather have called a shove. Giannetti just is in a horrible spot. He can't, he just has to fold, really. Because you have to, you've got to put your opponent on specifically the, this kind of hand, um, or maybe something like Jack Eight, Jack Eight of Clubs. But you're never a huge favourite against those hands. And if he has Queen Ten, you're dead. If he has Ace Jack, you're virtually dead. This is a fold now. It's just, and that's why maybe he should have checked back the flop. I don't know. Well, if Giannetti does fold here, several people are going to be very happy. Not just Pescatori, Tony G, oh, Jennifer Wow, he's And Giannetti, he's cracked it! And he's, he's cracked it! But still, it is a flip! Wow, it is a flip! Huge and flip. it's for Giannetti, this is everything! For Tony G, it's everything! Wow. I know you probably have a six to think about. 
Oh, we all want uh, Pascatori to hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you so hit like for me one time? Root for me one time. I'm rooting for you big time. <laughs> come on. Let's shoot. Come on. Wow. As we can see, Tony G and Jennifer Tilly will be will be screaming for this club or a queen. At least I want to improve the hand. Plus, he's up three million this week, yeah. so it's not like he has to win this one. Ah, what a spot we have here. This is huge for Tony G. As you Absolutely can see, Tony huge. G's rooting for he's Max. Rooting. Even Tilly's rooting for Max. Of course. Everybody's rooting for Max, but Matt. Is it Matt or Max? Uh, nope. Blank on the turn. You can see by Club or a queen on the river. Otherwise, I think we will have our final three place finishes. Here it comes. Nope, and he... What he a hold! Wow. What a hold! Wow, that's... Max Pescatori's gonna be back at the final table. He's still likely uh, to be uh, one of the chip leaders there. He is gonna be one of the chip leaders there. Uh, he takes one point for fifth, but for Gianetti, he now tops G in the table and ups these final table stakes. Yeah, I mean, he's in a very, very strong position to get to the final three. Uh, second in chips overall. Uh, so Tony G has got a lot of work cut out to make it. It can still be done. And Jennifer's still there, but I'm definitely taking uh, Giannetti to make that final place. It's important to be in the final at the end, and then, uh, as we saw, uh, I had a big trip lead, put them in well, and, and still I'm out, so it can happen. And so you just, I'm happy to be in the final and um, be fun. Great, well, good luck in the final, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to the Playboy Club in London for the last league match for Group A, the Pot Limit Hold'em. Max Pescatori is out in fifth, but with his place already secured, he's left it wide open for who will be joining him. Let's oh, yeah. get back to the game. The only leader. thing that Tony G now has to be aware no, no, of me. is that if he comes what's, what's first okay, and Gianetti comes second, on. then Gianetti is started. through. Mm. A Tony G so must be aware that he has to shepherd James Dempsey along. Finally, we'll see Tilly's chips going in. Uh, 4.6 big blinds are going in here with the two nines. Uh, I don't really think, um, I don't think Tony G's calling when it's gone under the gun open. He's gonna, there's no real need to get involved here. He will just have to hope she wins and Giannetti's stack gets decreased. Yeah, he's gonna fold. I mean, if if Giannetti didn't open, then it's then it's a call. Cool, that's fine, but not when Giannetti's opened. I'm trying to think. What what are the tactical considerations of Tony taking? No, nah, there's nothing. I don't think there is anything. He just has to hope Giannetti calls he, and does loses. Does he think there could be money in this? Oh, that wow. there's gonna be money in the do. center if he can get Giannetti off the hand. He's on a bit of a free roll. I don't know. I don't Just really the know. ace. <coughs> I particularly love this play by Tony. He's uh, he's decided he's just he's taken Giannetti out of it. It's a, it was bizarre, wasn't it? A little bit, yeah. I would be interested to know what his thought process was behind it. I mean, he's always got 30 percent, 20, 27 percent in the hand, but it's a king. I have to go for it. Aces are dead. It's like flopping a set. There's the three. And for a, what a great spot for Tilly. Yeah, There's like 250k spot. in here. Spot. She could be massive. in this in a huge way. Yep. <sighs> I think she a could, huge way. She'll be right back in it. And there we Very go. Nice. Drawing dead. So she gets a double up. Three three. And she's right back in it. 100%. And oh, <laughs> look at that. Ace two would have got there. So Giannetti would have called and she would have been out. Yeah, so Tony G has right. just saved Jennifer Tilly's you're life absolutely by right. making a very questionable play because absolutely Giannetti was not folding and he's going to be sick to see that. Yep, absolutely. And for, for Jennifer Tilly now, Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, she's Unbelievable. she's basically in a, in a stronger position of Giannetti almost. And the reason is because of her double up card. She controls her own destiny. Uh, she wins with a top two spot unless Giannetti uh, beats her. Second is good for her in any combination except for Giannetti first. 
And uh, yeah. James Dempsey is going to relish the role of spoiler. I'm not sure exactly he knows what to do with it. He has a tell. When he goes out, he always does, he's going to do something. Think race most of the time. When you think Square does something, actions on him. Yeah, he's always. It's kind of general never tell. Most, most people don't fucking do that. When it's on them, <laughs> it's on them. And they, they haven't put chip in the pot. They think for a while. They usually do something. I think he's just going to call. Oh, uh, okay. He's just gone for the pot. Yeah, not that um, That's a good chance for me. Now, Tony's... That's a nice chance. Okay. Oh, wow. Cards. So he's gone with it. He's just open. He's got ace-king, and what he's up against the May pair. Um, Tony G luck. said, let's gamble. The one thing he didn't want to see was the high pair. He wouldn't have minded looking at ace-king, he says, but this is much worse. What is he, 20%? What is he, less? Yeah, a bit of luck. And he's it is bad. Well it is bad. And the G. That's, over. that's as bad yeah, as you can get. That's, that's about as that He's was. More chips in he has to hit runner, runner yeah, perfect. Go, 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 go. He, he really felt like he Seven had to Seven or six. And, that, and that's. No hope. And that's it. Tony's out. He gave it his best shot, but Giannetti just hit the cards when he, he needed to. So unfortunately, we'll be seeing the end of Tony G in the first season of the Premier League. He is mixed. out. He is out of the mixed game championship. He'll take two points ah. for finishing fourth. Well that is never going to be good. It was looking good for a while. That See last it. hand was a big Sorry. gamble. And for Giannetti, the it's November all Niner. Over. It's yep. all but over now. I mean, it would be an absolute miracle if, if Jennifer Tilly turns this around. Ah, just can't see it happening. She's got her back to the wall, Jennifer Tilly, and second place is not going to be good enough. Uh, unless, of course, Giannetti goes out third. But uh, for Jennifer Tilly, she's still got a chance. We've double-checked it, and this time Tony G is out, unfortunately. That must have been a very frustrating interval for you to have to go back to the table like that. Oh, it was good. It was nice to have a second chance. Yeah. Had uh, had a huge pot with Giannetti. If I needed to get very lucky, but if I do, I, I've got my... Uh, I'll probably make it, but it just didn't work out that way. I really gambled with that hand. Two queens was pretty bad. Ace-king would have been nice, but it's life. Will we be seeing you in the main Premier League? Yeah, I'm sure I'll be there. Well, we look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. You know that Max Pescatori, having gotten two points, is going to have 420,000 chips at the final table. Uh, James Dempsey, if he comes in third, will have the Five same eight, stack 4, as... Uh, now, this is an interesting spot. Dempsey opens, which is perfectly fine with the deuce three. And this time, Giannetti has a suited ace ten. He just calls. Um, and Jennifer has to fold. Oh, no, this is horrible. Oh, this is really bad by Jennifer. She's just put in 20% of her stack with six high. Uh, this will be interesting how this gets played out. Because obviously Dempsey's going to bet here and he may barrel this board. No, I would have liked Dempsey to have led bet here. I mean, he obviously puts Giannetti on a huge hand, but even if he has ace-10, ace-queen, he can't sustain two, two um, streets. And this probably gets... Ah, okay, well, he might represent the jack here. Like, you know, act like he's got jack-9, queen-jack, which he does. Um... But Giannetti correctly makes the call. He's not calling for 50,000. <laughs> want to see, want to see Dempsey barrel this river just for fun anyway. It will definitely put Giannetti in a tough exactly. spot. Exactly, but it's not, he, he's not going to be all in. Uh, he hits a three and he just hopes he's got king, queen, um, which he doesn't, obviously. And um, that puts Gian, uh, Giannetti up to almost 1.1 million. Yeah, and Jennifer down to 98,000. <laughs> I don't hate I, I don't hate James's play there at all. But first, but I think he should have bet he should have bet the flop. Uh, obviously, would have got called in. He could easily have um, bet this turn as well. Yeah, for sure. So Jennifer. Is down to five big blinds right now. Giannetti on the button nice with a three. 
Right, okay. uh, ace three and Jennifer with the two sixes. Okay, so she's got a good shot here, doubling up. Um, obviously getting called. Uh, and she's going to be in a good spot to uh, double up to 12 big blinds. So that Jennifer Tilly all in here, and this is it. Uh, it's all over, basically. <laughs> Uh, except for a little bit of shout, and if Tilly doesn't, du if, if uh, Gina can hit the ace, if Tilly doubles up, she's back in it. Oh, and that's oh wow! <laughs> what a sick window card. <laughs> How many lives have you got? What? How many lives have you got? I don't know, probably about This guy's been waiting seconds. for you to bust the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> she's a 95% favorite. Oh, just an ace. Ooh. Only an ace. A three's Ooh. no good. Two Ooh. outs. So she's still a 95% favorite. Oh, and there wow. it is. No! And she's out. No! Runner. How? He couldn't hey last. What happened? She, he hit runner, runner, it's full not, house. It's not fair. Her luck had to have ended eventually. And unfortunately, we lose Jennifer Tilly <laughs> and our final three She made a flush set. against Giannetti. He made a full house. She flopped a flush against Tony G. Yeah. He yeah. made quads. There she flopped a set. Giannetti ran her down. And we now know the makeup of the final table. After making a great run at the final spot for our final table, it was runner, runner ugliness out there for you, wasn't it? Right. Well, you know what? When I saw that three come on the turn, I just knew the river was going to be unlucky for me because today that kind of thing has been happening all day long. I've had bad rivers all day. So, you know, what can you do? I feel like I played a good game as you know, so um, I wish all the boys the best of luck. It's very good of you. And thank you so much for talking to us. Well, thank you. Blinds are going to be 15 and 30,000 now. And it was quite interesting, Andrew, because uh, they played heads up, that, that no limit hold them. And uh, Giannetti basically ran Dempsey over. Yeah, he, had, he had the hands. But uh, th then James just doubled up uh, by coming from behind twice to beat him. Oh, wow. So finally, now we see two big hands. All in. Uh, two jacks. Two jacks v king seven, and I do not like Giannetti's call here. That's a very poor call in my mind. I mean, I know he's probably getting two to one, but I don't like. Um, it's, it's just my turn, so king seven of diamonds is going to be crushed too often. There's obviously, you, you can't a, help thinking a little bit. Ooh, look and it looks like Jack. Dempsey's uh, well, double up. A little bit, obviously, Ooh, when Giannetti uh, got knocked out, not knocked out, but crippled in the final table, it was the jacks against the a seven. and. Yep, I know and, it's, not, uh, it's not really the same, but <laughs> you can't yeah. help thinking about it. I don't. I mean, it, it looked a little bit like a tired call, to be honest. It was just like, you know, they're both guaranteed final spots. He's not even getting two to one there with King seven. I don't like that call, to be honest. Just every time they walk down the corridor, having to walk past, like, seeing like banner of your own face. Yeah, bitches. Well, I think if either one of these players wins the Premier League Mixed Game Championship, we should put a, a poster, a poster of them in the studio for next year. <laughs> that, that might be a good thing. So that, that we should, you know, you have to kind of walk past the champion Ace, every year. <laughs> uh, I, think we, I think it's all going in. Yep. <laughs> all going in. All Here in. we go. Yeah. King three against King Jack. Dempsey scored the goods again. And unless a three or some spades come, um, Dempsey will be the winner of and, the seat. So yeah, and, and quite fair. As far as, far as uh, it'll be very tight, the chip stacks at the final table if Dempsey comes through. And he looks oh, like wow. he is coming through. <laughs> unless we see running Jack threes. <laughs> which uh, I don't think will happen. Oh, running kings. Uh, a fantastic performance <laughs> from Matt Giannetti. Uh, to come through, see off the challenges of Luke Schwartz, Tilly, Tony G, uh, to take that last seat at the final table. Of course, James Dempsey, another fine performance. Two wins and a bagel for Dempsey. He's a feast or famine type of guy. I hope so. <laughs> It was a volatile heat, but you have won it, and you are through to the final table, of course. We, we kind of knew that already. How did it go out there for you today? Uh, it, got very, it got a little bit hairy at one point. Um, I found myself short, and the people I needed to get knocked out weren't getting knocked out. I mean, I came in after the first heat, I was very confident of being in the final. Obviously, I messed up the PLO. And for a second there, I was thinking, what are you doing? But 
I think at least it'd be a funny story if I don't make the final. But yeah, eventually uh, things started to break my way and uh, I got pretty lucky in a few spots and sure enough, um, a lot of chips for the final, so I'm very happy. There's a little extra added pressure on Matt here. Uh, you had to make first or second to go into the final, so uh, you've done that. Obviously, you're happy with your result. Very happy. I mean, uh, the goal today was just get to the finals. Would have been nice if I won, but, uh, you know. Let's have a look at how the Group A League standings finished up. James Dempsey has won the table with 24 points. Max Pescatori with 20 points and Matt Giannetti with 19 points. Those three will go to the final table with their points converted to chips. For Tony G, it was fourth place and 10 points. Jennifer Tilly on nine and Luke Schwartz, bottom of the table with six points alone. So it's Max Pescatori, James Dempsey and Matt Giannetti through to the final table from Group A. Join us next time to find out who will be joining them from Group B as they take to the table in their last league match. Never ends, does it? Always picking on the young guys. It's always left to pick on anymore. They just keep trying to rob you. B25. Did I lose like 50k then that hand? I'm refusing free money, I know. I've never done this in my Four life. One. You're such a nid in these spots. Wow, a win a pot with Evgenia. Is it, is it actually possible? It's the first pot I've ever won against you in my life. Did you see my cards? No. Because like, you've, been, you've been spot on every single time. When someone just loses a big hand, I would never sit there and tell someone they made a bad play. That's not my personality. Okay. I get owned by Timoshenko again.